Today we're going to be talking about uh, Descartes Meditation 2. So uh, first I'll give you a little bit of context and uh, talk about where this all fits in, what we're doing, and then we'll just walk through the text of Meditation 2 and the text of Meditation 3. Uh, meditation 2 and 3 is where we get kind of the payoff from this process of radical doubt that Descartes began with in Meditation 1. So just think about the context here. Descartes is giving us a new program looking for a new foundation for knowledge. We might ask, what's wrong with the old foundation? What's the old foundation for knowledge? The old foundation is sense knowing. It's using the senses to enter into a relationship with objects in the world in a way that gives us uh, a reliable grasp on these objects and gives us some sort of way of working towards an essential understanding, grasping of them through their four causes. The old way of, of old foundation for knowing would be to begin with the senses and then try to work through to some kind of not grasp of what a thing truly is. The four causes would give us an idea of what a thing really and truly is in its essence. So what does Descartes begin in meditation too by doing? Let's take a look at this. He's thinking about this. What is the source of my knowledge? How does this knowledge get into my head? Well, if we think about this, we realize that all of the knowledge that we have that we think is so reliable, either comes to us through our senses, right, through our eyes, our ears, etc., or it comes to us through our memory. And so we're thinking, some of you uh, in response to the last exercise said, you know, one of the things I'm certain of is I'm certain that I'm more than 15 years old. And then he's, just because it's a fact, I know that about myself. And I didn't press you on this last time, but I can press you on it right now. If I were to challenge this, I'd say, how do you know that you're over 15? You have to draw upon some score of memory. Some of you are reasoning about other things that you are certain of. And for either one, to each of those things, either it's your senses or it's your memory, which in fact is really, think about it, just memory of your senses. I looked at my first certificate, I saw the numbers on the certificate. And then I did some calculations from that to be able to figure out how old I am, but I'm relying upon my senses to give an accurate picture of the certificate, as well as the certificate to be an accurate representation of reality. But if all my knowledge is coming from these sources, and maybe ultimately just from this one, what Descartes does is argue in meditation one, the senses are an unreliable source of knowledge. They're not sufficiently secure to be a foundation for knowledge. So we need a new foundation. This new foundation for knowledge is going to be Descartes' turn toward the self. So what we're looking for in meditation two and three is a way in which the knowledge of the self, specifically of the self's thought, is going to be more certain than knowledge from the senses. It's going to be foundational for all other knowledge. That's going to be the new foundation. The, uh, the self and the self's thoughts that turn out to be the new foundation that he's looking for, because they're proof against all possible doubt in a way that senses and memory are not. Think about virtual reality or any other kind of science fiction scenario. Some kind of bad scientist or uh, matrix type computer can deceive me about anything that comes through my senses. Right? Any sensory thing has to process through my brain, so any device that can stimulate those exact same neurons can make me have the experience of thinking that I see or feel something. That's always been the promise of virtual reality the past 10 or 20 years. And anything that can cause me, again, to have the same sort of neural stimuli or thoughts can cause me to have a memory, even though the memory of the senses don't necessarily correspond to what the real world is outside of me. So they are diving deep into the mind and the mind's knowledge to try to find a new foundation and then to build back up on that foundation. So uh, meditation two is where we get the foundation building up. Meditation 3, we've got a proof for the existence of God. We'll talk about both of those today. Uh, but it's against this backdrop of trying to undermine the senses and memory that this new foundation makes sense. 